and welcome back to Coco Blooms. As you can see, based on the title, this is all about room essentials. So out of the rooms that's in my home, my favorite room is my room. So in my room, I like to have all the things that's gonna make sure that I can do my job, I can have fun, I can Netflix and chill, I can create a place of peace and serenity and calmness when I want that. And it's also space enough for me to rock out to some good, loud music. So if you wanna see more about my seven room essentials, please stay tuned. So my first room essential is this throw pillow. So I have multiple throw pillows on my bed currently, but this is one of my favorite ones. I love the fabric of it. I love that it looks like little roses. And I have it along with, I believe about five other pillows on my bed. They're just super comfortable. I would say when I first got into throw pillows, it was one of those things like, okay, when it's time to go to bed, I got to sit them on the floor neatly because I don't want to get, want to get them messed up. But now it's like, no, I want to sleep in between all of my throw pillows. So room essential number one, you have to have throw pillows. Wanted to show you guys this one too. So this one looks fancy dancy, but this is one of the throw pillows that I actually do put on the floor. Unlike the other ones, this, these, this one has to go on the floor. I have two of them. And because it has this fancy beading, I don't want the beading to get messed up. So I actually do put these ones on the floor. So you know which ones is like, ah, I can lay on it. Ah, no, that's a good one. Let me make sure I put this somewhere when it's time for bed. The next room essential I have to have is flowers. So right now you see I have this beautiful red rose. So I like to have a vase full of flowers. I try to pick them up every two weeks when I get paid just to keep them fresh. Now, one thing I will say is when they get old and they begin to dry out, I also like the look of those flowers too so i have to have flowers it just brings something extra to my room and they smell amazing so make sure you are treating yourself or if you have a significant other let them know hey i would like some flowers okay once a week or every two weeks whether you want to put it in your room or whether you just want it in your home altogether. So I think flowers also look nice on the dining room table. So it just adds something extra and you can switch it up. So maybe you get roses one week and then the next week you get sunflowers. Another room essential I have is my iHome speaker. And I love it because if I turn it on, it had, goes into all these different color lights, especially when it's dark. I think it looks super cool. Um, and you can either plug it up to whatever device your music is coming from, or you can set it up with Bluetooth. This is something that's so lightweight. If you see right now, it's so lightweight. So sometimes I just have it on my dresser. If I'm outside at the pool, I take it with me just so I can have some music with my friends. And of course, I mentioned this in another video. I love to sing offbeat gospel tune and all so sometimes i'll take it in the bathroom with me so i can hear my music while i'm in the shower so this i home is one of my room essentials next room essentials are candles i must have candles in my room i have about three or four candles all around my room and i have the little tea light candles also but out of all the candles this is my favorite this is dark forest by main indulgence smells so amazing i love the wick that it has because it burns evenly so you don't have to worry about one side going down before the other side it burns evenly and i can't state enough it just smells so good so make sure you have candles so whether you're just relaxing whether you're trying to create a space to study or just create a space for you to fall asleep get back up and blow the candle out this is something that i think everyone will enjoy Quick plug, my little sister, Alima, she actually has a candle business. So she just created her first candle. I'll place it on the screen right here. Please support her. The next room essential I have is my chair. I like to call this my chair of royalty. You see that it has the bronze studded beads on the side of it. It is velvet. It's this beautiful color. Oh my goodness, the color is so beautiful. And it just makes me feel like royalty. When it's at my desk, I feel comfortable. I'm able to sit there for long amounts of hours on a computer doing my work. So it's very important to me to be comfortable while I am working. room essential curtains i have to have curtains right now it is about 97 degrees here in philadelphia so with my curtains it's able to keep out some of that heat and because my curtains are red when it's nighttime and i close my curtains it just gives like a red pinkish vibe in here 
yes it definitely be popping in my room with the lighting with the lighting that's what i mean popping with the lighting you guys all right so i love having curtains i have red curtains up now courtesy of miss tammy Woo! if you see this video thank you miss tammy she put up my curtains because i'm not handy in that way and she has the eye so thank you so much so yes curtains is a room essential I must have them. And it makes your room darker. I love when I go to hotels for work and when you're at the hotel, you close some curtains, it's pitch black in there. So I love to sleep pitch black. The room essential that I have to have in my room is artwork. So as you can see right behind me on my wall, these are all things that represent who I am. And these are all things that go with my dreams and my aspirations so if you take a look at my first video i'll post right here this gives you more information about my wall i'll say one of the pieces that i have up it talks about keeping your heels your head and your standards high you do not have to wear those little girl heels <laughs> i call those little kitten heels i do not walk well in them it's so crazy. I prefer a platform heel, so I like to keep my heels high. I'm going to keep my head high. It's nothing like walking with your head down. It doesn't show self-confidence. It doesn't show that you know who you are and I know who I am. And then in regards to my standards, I refuse. I refuse to lower my standards for anyone. If anything, I'm going to set the standard on what I want on what I, and what I deserve. So that's one of the favorite pieces of art that I have in my room. It just makes me happy. It just makes me happy. One important room essential for me is to have my nightstand. I have to have a nightstand because I have to have certain things nearby. So on my nightstand, I have my cute little lamp. It looks so cute. I got it from Ikea probably years ago, but I love the way it illuminates the room when all the lights are off. It has like a single little small light in there. So it's just enough light, light if I want to read at night. Also my nightstand, I keep all of my chargers. So anything I need to charge, it's on my nightstand. So whether it's my phone, it's my iPad or my Apple Watch, it's charging on my nightstand. And I want it nearby because I don't want it to charge through the night. So remember, if you overcharge your things, that's how it burns out quickly. So please keep that in mind. Other things that I keep on my nightstand includes maybe the book that I'm reading at the time. Right now I'm reading Money Diaries. So look forward to that review coming soon. I also have my planner on my nightstand. So if I receive a call while I'm in bed, and I need to remember to do something, I automatically put it in my planner. And next I have this book. I actually just bought this book like two weeks ago from Five and Below, and it has writing prompts. So just something to keep my mind moving. The last prompt that I answered was, what was the best moment in your life? And I think the best moment in my life actually happened maybe like two years ago. And I was in discipleship class and we were talking about salvation. So being saved and talking about, talking about what it means and just knowing that, no matter what I do, I'm still saved. Like nobody can take away my salvation. No, no sin, nothing. Nobody can take away my salvation. And it's like, when I got saved, when I was a little girl, it was like, okay, I accept it. I believe and I confess like Jesus is Lord and I need a savior. But here, I think I was 28 years old and just truly understanding the meaning of that, truly understanding like nobody can take that away like it just even talking about it right now is just so crazy to me because i know how i mess up and i'm still saved you know no matter what so there are consequences but i'm still saved okay i just went off on a tangent but yes room essential room essential nightstand nightstand that is my room essential that i must have have to have is a full body mirror so i have a mirror connected to my dresser it probably shows me up to my waist but i need a mirror that's going to show me every little angle do i need to tuck this shirt in do i need to wear it out do i need to wear this shoe or do i need to wear this shoe does that make my butt look popping or is that like spongebob square pants so i need to see everything in regards to my full body before i go outside my house Thank you so much for tuning in to my video all about room essentials. In the comments below, let me know what are some of your room essentials? What are some of the things that you have in your room that make you happy or that makes it your room? Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Until then, continue to blossom.